Good morning. I'm Pastor Eric, and we are CECA. Welcome to church. Welcome to our Sunday morning service. Now, I hope that through our time together this morning, you will be strengthened and encouraged during this lockdown. And most importantly, I hope that you'll be able to find God in your life. Now, we want to do this through songs and teaching of the Bible. So please join us to sing and worship. And if you have any questions about the teaching, about the songs, about the sermon, please feel free to join us on Zoom afterwards. We would love to explore those questions together. So now, let us start with a song of praise.
In the dark, we were waiting without hope, without light. From heaven, you came running. There was mercy in your eyes to fulfill the law and prophets. To a virgin came the word from a throne of endless glory to a cradle in the dark. They want to share two passages with you. One is from Deuteronomy 19:1-13, and the other one is Numbers chapter 35, verse 28. Let us read together these two passages. 
Firstly, Deuteronomy 19, 1 to 13. When the Lord your God has destroyed the nations whose land he is giving you, and when you have driven them out and settled in their towns and houses, then set aside for yourselves three cities in the land the Lord your God is giving you to possess. Determine the distance involved and divide into three parts the land the Lord your God is giving you as an inheritance, so that a person who kills someone may flee for refuge to one of these cities. This is the rule concerning anyone who kills a person and flees there for safety. Anyone who kills a neighbor unintentionally without mercy aforethought, for instance, a man may go into the forest with his neighbor to cut wood, and as he swings his axe to fall a tree, the head may fly off and hit his neighbor and kill him. That man may flee to one of these cities and save his life. Otherwise, the avenger of blood may pursue him in the range, overtake him if the distance is too great, and kill him even though he is not deserving of death, since he did it to his neighbor without merciless afterthought. This is why I command you to set aside for yourselves three cities. Verse 8. If the Lord your God enlarge your territory, as he promised on oath to your ancestors, then give you the whole land he promised him, because you carefully follow all these laws I command you today, to love the, the Lord your God and to walk always in obedience to him. Then you are to set aside three more cities. Do this so that innocent blood will not be shed in your land, which the Lord your God is giving you as your inheritance, so that you will not be guilty of bloodshed. Verse 11. But if out of hate someone lies in wait, assaults and kills a neighbor, and then flees to one of these cities, the killer shall be sent for by the town elders, be brought back from the city, and be handed over to the avenger of blood to die. Show no pity. You must purge from Israel the guilt of shedding innocent blood, so that it may go well with you. The second passage comes from Numbers, chapter 35, 28. The accused must stay in the city of refuge until the death of one of the high priests. Only after the death of the high priest may they return to their own property. 對於舊約的以色列人來說,他們那個時代就沒有一個整全的法律制度。In the Old Testament for the Israelites, there is not such a complete a law system for them to, to govern them. 對於他們來說,以牙還牙,以眼還眼是一個非常之重要的法律精神。For them, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth is a very important a tradition that they, they follow in their, in their legal system. 我們今天對於以牙還牙,以眼還眼這個道理,似乎好像鼓勵我們報仇一樣。Today we understand this concept as an encouragement for you to take revenge. 對於我們中國人來說,有一個這樣的說話,有仇不報非君子,有冤不報枉為人,就要為那個受害者討回公道了。For Chinese, um, there is a concept of understanding that we must take revenge if, if someone uh, wronged you, and if you have been um, if you have been innocently accused, you must take revenge. So how do we actually apply it in our modern day life? For example, If me, Eric, and my wife Ruth goes out on a date, uh, we go out for dinner, and then we saw someone uh, coming, coming towards us. And the, the gentleman uh, thinks that my wife Ruth is very pretty, and so he uh, takes a look at her. And for me, for Eric, uh, I get upset. But then I cannot just because I'm angry and jealous, and I'll get my friends and buddies and go and gang up on him. 以牙還牙,以眼還眼,在這裡來說,Eric怎麼做呢? In the context of an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, what can I do? 
Eric 最多可以咧就望翻佢女朋友一眼啫。Most I can do is to stare at his girlfriend. 所以對於舊約嚟講咧，唔係鼓勵你報仇嘅喎。And so in the Old Testament is not an encouragement for you to take revenge. 而係俾一個人一個公平公義嘅對待。It's to give you a fair and just、uh, judgment. 嗱，當你殺咗人嘅時候，一方面你當然要承擔翻嗰個嘅後果啦。If you murder someone, obviously you will have to take the responsibility. 但係對於另一方面嚟講，嗰、那個誒、嗯、受害者嘅家人咧，如果佢要討回血債嘅時候咧，佢所做嘅唔可以過於嗰個犯罪者所做嘅。On the other hand, if the relative of the victim wants to、um, take revenge or, or, or be repaid for the sins that you've done, they cannot do more than what you deserve. 嗱，呢個係一個非常之重要一個好公平嘅制度嚟嘅。This is a very important and a fair、uh, system. 嗱，對於一個殺咗人嘅人嚟講咧，佢嘅家屬咧，一對於一個被人殺害嘅人嚟講，佢嘅家屬咧係可以合法地去追討呢個人嘅血債嘅。The family of the victim have the right to to chase after the murder. 而係唔需要徵求徵求當時嘅啊政府啊大祭司啊或者咧長老嘅同意嘅喎。They don't even need to go seek for a, a agreement or, or a approval from the elders or the priests at that time。但係如果喺一個情況之下，就係嗰個人唔係故意殺人嘅咧，咁又點樣做咧 ？But what if he kills someone by accident,、uh, unintentionally? What happens then? 嗱喺出埃及記嘅二十一章十三節咧就話俾我哋聽，佢應該點樣做啦 ？And in Exodus Uh, chapter twenty-one, thirteen. It talks about this. He is 人若不是埋伏着杀人，乃是上帝交在他手中。既然佢唔系故意嘅时候咧，我就设下一个地方，他可以往那里逃跑。And it says, however, if it is not done intentionally, that is the murder, but God let it happen, they are to flee to a place I will designate. 咁呢个地方系边一度咧 ？So what is this place? 嗱，當佢走到呢個地方嘅時候咧，其他人就唔可以再捉佢啦。If they、uh, go to this place, then others will not be able to catch him。嗱，呢一地地方聖經所講就叫屠城。This place is called the city of refuge。嗱，屠城其實係舊約一個法律制度嚟㗎。Now this is actually a, 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 a legal legalistic law in the Old Testament。啊！除咗我哋正話所奉讀嘅《生命記》之外咧，喺《約書亞記》同埋《民數記》咧，同樣都係記載到有關呢一個屠城嘅法律制度。Apart from the passages we just read today in Deuteronomy, in Joshua and Numbers also talk about this、uh, system, this city of refuge. 當以色列人離開咗曠野，進入迦南地之後，佢哋十二個支派就分地啦。When the Israelites entered the, the, the Promised Land, they started to divide the land. 當佢哋要分地嘅時候，神就吩咐佢哋喺呢個分地上面要設立六座嘅屠城。As they divided for the twelve tribes, God asked them to set up six different cities。屠城就係讓一個唔係故意殺人嘅人，當意外發生咗之後咧，佢可以即刻逃到呢隻地方嚟避開受害嘅家人嘅追殺。These six cities of refuge are for those who have killed someone unintentionally, so that they can flee to it and find safety. 嗱，呢個係當時舊一個好重要嘅法律制度。This is a very important concept, a rule, a law that they follow in the Old Testament。其實類似嘅法律制度咧，同樣喺《列王記上》一章五十節記載過嘅。And even、uh, in in One Kings,、uh, it also records a similar sort of concept in it。嗱，當時記載到大衛第四個兒子亞多尼亞，因為佢以為咧，經過佢哥哥嘅死亡之後，佢會順利成長成為大衛嘅繼承人。點知大衛後來咧就立咗所羅門咧做個繼承人㗎。And and in in one Kings and Elijah the the, the fourth son of David,、um, he also、uh, in fear of Solomon he went and and and, and escaped because、uh, he was fear for 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 Solomon。後嚟咧所羅門就要追殺佢啦，於是佢就逃咗一個地方。As as Solomon chased after him, he went and escaped。佢眯埋邊一度咧 ？Where did he go? Where did he hide? 佢竟然走去祭壇嗰度，然之後咧揸住祭壇嘅角。He actually went and took hold of the horns of the altar。其實就係呢個意思。佢去到呢個地方之後咧，其他人就唔可以再追佢啦。And this is the same concept. As he go there, others are not、uh, allowed to catch him。似唔似我哋玩一個遊戲叫做埋州啊 ？It's like when we、uh, young when we play a game called tag。就係當你喺俾敵人追到你之前，去到一個指定嘅地方咧。咁你就會贏㗎啦。It's as you run from 
from the one who's chasing you, you have to go to find a safe spot. As you touch that spot, then others are not allowed to chase you anymore. So this city of refuge is the same. It's for those unintentionally murdered mur- murderers to, to have a place of refuge. This is, now this is only this only applies for those who unintentionally murder someone, those who who does it intentionally uh, not uh, does not apply to them. It's just like what we read in Deuteronomy before in, in, in uh, verse 11 and 12. And he said, So it's just like what, is, what we read in verse 11 and 12. If, but if out of hate someone lies in wait, assault and kills a neighbor, and then flees to one of these cities, the killer shall be sent for by the town elders, be brought back from the city, and be hanged over to the avenger of blood to die. So the city of, her, uh, of refuge uh, protects tra- tragedy and, and, and accidents. We, as we read the passage today, there is a very interesting but sad example that the Bible uses. In verse 5, it talks about a man who goes to the forest with his, with his neighbor to cut the wood, but as he swings the axe, um, it axed, the head of the axe accidentally fell off to his neighbor and killed him. Now, of course, these things uh, does not happen very often. But sadly, the friend died. This is an accident. He didn't do it intentionally. We can only say that he's not very uh, being sensible, recycled. The, the, the family of the victim has the right to chase after uh, the murderer for blood. The man who killed his neighbor intentionally, he is allowed to escape to this city of refuge. And as he enters the city, the, the, the relatives of the victim can no longer chase after him. And of course, he still suffers uh, the consequences of killing someone. He loses his freedom because he needs to spend his, the rest of his life in the city like a refugee. And this is how the Old Testament uh, protects the justice and the fairness of the city, of, 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 the, of the community at that time. Um, today, obviously, we, it's very unlikely that, we'll, that we will murder someone by accident. But sometimes we, we do commit some minor mistakes or crimes. Maybe in the ways that we drive, uh, we, we, we speed and we, we cross the red light. Sometimes, uh, but rarely we will kill someone unintentionally. Although we will, will not, we will not kill someone with our hands. But in, but in Matthew 5.21, Jesus says this, you have heard that it was said to the people long ago, you shall not murder, and anyone who murders will be subject to judgment. But I tell you that anyone who is angry with a brother or sister will be judgment will be subject to judgment. Again, anyone who says to a brother or sister Rekha is answerable to the court, and anyone who says you fool will be in danger of the fire of hell. Now, 
for Jesus, uh, murder doesn't just uh, limit to, to what you do with your hand, but also with the speech that comes out of your mouth. 用言語來到誤殺是一件非常之容易的事 Using our words to accidentally kill someone is actually very easy 有些說話這樣說一句說話可以建立一個國家一句說話可以拆毀一個國家閒言閒語人言可畏輿論壓力閒話是非 There are different descriptions to describe what words can do Some say that words can build a kingdom Words can heal, words can kill uh, gossips, peer pressure, rumors. This description of words of speech already explains and express how much damage uh, words can do. In the family, in, in the community, in the church, in the cell group, with friends, we can discover there are a lot of chances that, that we use words to kill people. And, and we, we, we realize that these things often happen unintentionally, but unfortunately, a life is destroyed. Perhaps you have also experienced such stories or innocent uh, incidents in your life. Maybe you speak uh, too much. Or you forgot to mention something. Or as you send a message, you press the wrong emoji. Or perhaps a silence. 做了一些事情, or you've done something wrong. Or you didn't do something. Or you rushed something ahead. Or you're too slow. Uh, all this creates the, the, a murder. These words, these actions become the acts that that strikes into your brother's and sister's life. And it just happens unintentionally. In church, in your cell group, in your office at home, and even when you, you, you get on your friends, these things happen and you see axes flying everywhere. And this act just, just flies into people's hearts unintentionally. Uh, you can't just say that people are uh, narrow minded. Or you can't just say that, well, the, the one who speaks. Uh, he didn't mean it, but you know, but but the fact is the one who hear these things uh, actually in fact being struck by the axe. We know that uh, when we when we look at the axe, we realize as he strikes the realize as he strikes the people, it, the heart is very fragile. Well, for those who are strong in the heart, they might tell you, well, what you just said really hurt me. But so just don't do it again next time. But this rarely happens. What would happen usually? When they've been struck, sometimes they will just respond in silence and slowly they will, they will leave and sometimes they even leave the church. Usually, these words are not really strong language, they're not swearing words. Because we know Christians should not uh, say these words or swear. We, we're young, and so we would like to be straight and honest. We want to be true, and we want to be straight and direct. It's just like what the Bible says in Romans 12, uh, verse 9. It says, love must be sincere. Why do we need to pretend? Why do we need to be nice? 
但好多時候我哋都忘記咗我人不可虛假嘅下一句喎。But we also、uh, often forget the next phrase after love must be sincere。佢話恭敬人要彼此禮讓。It says devoted be devoted to one another in love, honor another one above yourself。我人當然唔可以虛假啦。Obviously we need to be sincere。但係我哋更加要小心嘅就係我哋要尊重，我哋要錫住，我哋要就住我哋頂住我哋講嘢。But we need to be careful, we need to respect, we need to be sensible as we speak to our brothers and sisters。因為我哋溝通嘅目的除咗係誒要表達我哋嘅意思之外，更加係要建立同埋安慰我哋頂住會。Because the reason, the purpose of our communication is not just to communicate, but also to comfort and to build each other up. 嗱，當我哋唔小心踩到人哋嘅時候咧，我哋會講對唔住嘅。If we、uh, unintentionally step on someone's tail, we will say sorry。嗱，雖然一件好少嘅事，但係當我知道係自己唔啱咧，我哋都會認錯嘅。Although if it's something minor, but if we know that it's our fault, we will still say, we will still apologize。但係通常喺言語上面得罪咗人咧，我哋係唔自知嘅喎。But when we、uh, wrong someone in our words, sometimes we just don't realize it。你知唔知乜嘢嘅罪係最難去赦免啊 ？Do you know？ What is the hardest thing to forgive？ 就係當你發現原來自己係受害者嘅時候，你係好難去赦免嘅。It's when you realise you're the victim, it's very hard to forgive someone。但係你發覺你更加難、更加難發現咧，就係往往你自己同樣都係呢件事情嗰個個加害者啊。But it's even harder to forgive when you realise that you're not only the victim, but you're also the one who are making it worse. 嗱，當然我哋唔係去再責怪嗰個受害者。Obviously we're not blaming the victim。但係講一句公道説話啦。But to be fair， 好多時問題嘅出現咧，往往唔係單係一個人全部嘅錯，或者係單係一個人全部嘅啱嘅。Problems are not one directional， so it's not always entirely one person's fault or one person's right。大家都有啲嘅苦頭喺人嘅心裏邊飛嚟飛去。You know everyone has some axe that that is flowing to to other people's heart。我哋同時間係罪人，我哋同時間都係義人。You know, we are sinners and one, we are sinners and we are also righteous。正如耶穌基督所講，法利賽人同埋税吏嗰個譬喻一樣。So it's it just like when when Jesus talks about the Pharisees and the tax collectors。有時我哋係法利賽人，但係同時我哋都係税吏。Sometimes we are we can be like Pharisees and other times we can be like tax collectors。有時我哋會謙卑，但有時我哋都會自意。Sometimes we will be humble, but other times we will become more self-righteous。我哋同時間係犯罪嗰個人，但係同時間係嗰個被害者。Sometimes we are we are the criminal, but other times we are the victim。我哋同時間係嗰個被人追殺嘅，但係我哋同時間都係嗰個追殺人哋嗰個人。We are at the at one at one hand、um, being chased by those who we wrong, but at the same time we also The one who's chasing others who wronged us。我哋係嗰個被傷害嘅人，但係同時間佢都將我哋嘅斧頭劈進咗人嘅生命裏邊嗰個人。We are the ones who've been hurt, but at the same time we are the ones who are also throwing axes into other people's life。詩篇經常都咁樣描述我哋嘅上帝。And in Psalms,、um, it, it describes the Lord,、uh, often describes the Lord this way. 佢話：耶和華係我哋嘅避難所，係我哋嘅盾牌。誒 ，The Lord is our 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 refuge, is our shield。佢係我哋患難中隨時嘅幫助。It's our rock and it's our help in 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 our difficulties。聖經每一次講到神係我哋避難所嘅時候，其實就係指到神係屠城。When the Bible says that God is our refuge, it means this city of refuge。嗱，當你覺得你被仇敵追殺嘅時候，你會祈禱，你會求神去庇佑你。So when you've been chased, you will go pray to God and ask for protection。就正如我哋覺得神係我哋嘅屠城一樣。And so this means that you understand that yes, the Lord is my city of refuge。屠城並唔係純粹為一個無意加害嘅一加害人嘅人喺嗰度揾到庇護之所。Now this city is not just for the ones who accidentally kill someone. So that they can find、uh, safety there。而係讓一個真正發現自己有問題、有需要嘅人喺庇護裏邊發現神嘅恩典。But this place is actually for those who discover that yes, I have issues in my life and I need help. This is when they can go to this city, go to God and discover God's grace。當然神係會呵護你、保護你，但係更加
重要嘅係乜嘢咧 ？Yes, God will look after you. God will protect you. But what is the key point in all of this? 就係原來當你發現自己都係有錯，你仍然你一樣係需要神嘅庇護。It's when you discover that you're at fault, and that God will still protect. 問題係你要首先發現原來自己都係有問題。So the key point is that you need to discover, you realize that yes, you have issues as well. 要發現自己有問題係好難嘅。It's very hard to to say that you're at fault. 尤其是當你覺得自己係受害者嘅時候。Especially when you think, when you believe that you are the victim. 喺人與人之間嘅相處裏邊，好多時候個斧頭係喺度互劈。And in our relationship, in our personal relationship, you sometimes, very often, we have a lot of access flying everywhere. You 永遠都好容易係睇到自己流血，睇到自己嘅傷，睇到自己嘅痛。Very easy to see that. Oh, I'm bleeding. Oh, I'm hurt and I'm injured. Very easy to realize how much hurt others have caused you. 但係你冇，當你望到自己流血嘅時候，你有冇同時都發現對方都喺度流緊血咧 ？But as you see that you are bleeding. Do you realize that the other person is also bleeding? Jesus once commanded us to love our enemies. Now this is a very significant and important command. Obviously, as Jesus tells us to love our, neighbor, uh, our enemies, it's, not very, it's very unnatural. 明明係仇敵，點樣去愛咧 ？Obviously they are enemies. How can I love them? 但係神嘅命令正正係要我哋去反思呢一、这個所謂嘅仇敵係咪純粹係你嘅仇敵咧 ？But this command actually wants us, encourages us to reflect this enemy is it in fact truly, purely just an enemy? 還是佢亦都係一個你唔小心用斧頭劈中嘅人咧 ？Or perhaps he is someone that you strike with your axe unintentionally? 佢係咪一個真係完全嘅魔鬼咧？ Is he really totally corrupted? 還是喺大家嘅誤會裏邊，同時間我哋都係互相受到傷害嘅人。Or maybe it's through our in in our misunderstanding that we are hurting each other. 頂姊妹，你有冇發現你自己嘅斧頭已經飛咗出去啊 ？Brothers and sisters, do you realize that your axe has also flown out and hurt someone? 發現自己嘅斧頭飛咗出去係我哋進入屠城嘅第一步啊 ！The first step for us to be able To go to the city of refuge is to discover that our axe has been struck. 亦都係我哋進入神恩典嘅第一步。And this is the first step as we enter into God's grace. 屠城唔係為嗰啲犯咗罪嘅人而設，而係為嗰啲發現自己有罪嘅人而設嘅。The city of refuge is not set for those who have sinned. It's set for those who realize they are not perfect and they are they have they're in fault. 進入屠城好重要嘅第一步。就係、是、原來自己真係都有呢個問題。The first step to enter this city of refuge is to realize that I am at fault. 我哋需要神嘅避難所，我哋需要神嘅保護。That I need this refuge, I need the protection from God. 入屠城唔難，但係發現自己需要入屠城咧，係喺我哋人際關係裏邊最難、最難嘅。It's easy to enter into this city, but to realize that you need to go into this city, that is the most difficult. Part in our relationships. 頂姊妹，我想問你一個問題。Brother and sister, I want to ask you a question. 你覺得自己需唔需要入屠城咧 ？Do Do you think you need to enter into this city of refuge? 如果你覺得你唔需要嘅話 ，If you think that you don't， 就代表你冇發現自己喺人際關係嘅相處裏邊，你同時間都係嗰個傷害人哋嘅人。Then perhaps that means that you have not yet discovered that in your relationship, in the way you communicate with each other, you have Hurt someone in the past. You have not realized that you have struck someone with your axe. You have not realized that you have struck someone with your axe. You have not realized that you have struck someone with your axe. You have not realized that you have struck someone with your axe. You have not realized that you have struck someone with your axe. You have not realized that you have struck someone with your axe. You have not realized that you have struck someone with your axe. You have not realized that you have struck someone with 或者讓我再問多次。Oh, again, let me ask. 頂姊妹，你覺得你需唔需要進入屠城咧 ？Brother and sister, do you think you need to enter into this city of refuge? 如果你話你需要嘅話 ，If you say that yes, I need， 係代表住你發現喺人際關係相處裏邊，你同唔單止係嗰個受害者，你同時亦都係嗰個傷害人哋嘅人。
then that means that you have realized, you discovered that in your relationship, you're not, the, you're not only the victim, but you're also the one who hurt someone. That you need God's forgiveness and protection. And this is God's grace. God's grace not only just protects you, but in this relationship, God forgives you. In the Lord's Prayer, there is this phrase. Forgive our sins as we have forgiven others. As we learn to forgive others, we will also be forgiven. Now you might think, okay, as we come here, there's still one uh, passage uh, that we have not talked about. And it is the second passage that we've read in Numbers 35, verse 28. And similarly, in Joshua, have this passage as well. These add an interesting footnote to the description about city of refuge. It says that the accused must stay in the city of refuge until the death of the high priest. After the death of the high priest, then they can return to their own property. And so you see that the ones who have the accused will need to stay in the city for a very long time and they will lose their freedom. And this lasts until the death of the high priest and only then this problem will be solved. We'll ask why. Why would you need to wait until the death of the high priest? Because for the Israelites, the death of the high priest is like a sin offering. The, 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 the death of the high priest will take the, the sin away. The death of the high priest fulfills the eye for an eye, the tooth for a tooth. Brothers and sisters, our Jesus Christ is this high priest for us. As he, as he, as he died on the cross, he has fulfilled this uh, this consequences of our sin and he has already destroyed all the all the problems and all the doubts and arguments we have with each other. And in Ephesians 2 14 16 says this for he himself that is Jesus is our peace who has made the two groups one and has destroyed the barrier the dividing wall of hostility by setting aside in his flesh the law with its commands and regulations, his purpose was to create in himself one new humanity out of the two, thus making peace, and in one body to reconcile both of them to God through the cross, by which he put to death their hostility. Um, we misread, misread this uh, passage a lot of times. We, we think that oh, this must be um, our, our, our hostility with us and God. But actually it's not about making peace with God. It's actually talking about the Gentiles and the chosen one, the Israelites. It's the hostility between men. And in Jesus, he has reconciled all the hostility between people. No matter if it's intentional 
unintentional, no matter with the tragedy or disaster. 一切一切人與人之間嘅冤仇都藉住耶穌基督得到最終極嘅解決。All types of hostility, Jesus has already put to death. 我哋點樣應用屠城嘅故事咧 ？So how can we apply this、uh, principle of city of refuge? 我會分三點同大家去分享。We will, we will look at it in three different points. 第一點。First， 對於教會嚟講，教會需要成為一個屠城。As a church, we need to become a city of refuge. 教會需要成為一個恩典嘅地方。We need to be a place of grace. 成為一個庇護所。A, a, a, a protection. 讓每一個有缺陷又唔係有意傷害人嘅人係可以進入嚟。For everyone who has unintentionally hurt someone, for them to come in and find refuge. 正如你同我一樣。Just like me and you. 嚟到呢一度，我哋可以放下我哋嘅恩仇。As we come here, we can put down all our our guilt. 我哋能夠成為一個寬容嘅羣體。We can be a a community of grace. 嗱，對人寬容咧，並唔係漠視邪惡或者埋沒公理。Now, to be gracious to someone just doesn't mean to turn a blind eye and just to to not care about justice. 寬容係人與人之間相處嘅態度。To be gracious is an attitude that we must have as we relate to one another. 對於嗰啲我哋覺得佢奇奇怪怪或者好多有問題嘅人，我哋願意去寬容。We need to be gracious to those who find they're strange or who who or who has a lot of issues。我哋用神嘅恩典歡迎佢哋嚟到呢一個羣體。We need to welcome them with God's grace。因為其實你同我都係罪人。Because we are sinners as well。我哋都有問題。We all have our own issues。嚟到呢度，我哋唔係互相嘅指責。As we come here, we're not here to to accuse each other。而係互相嘅寬容以愛嚟到對待。We're here to love and be gracious to each other。唯有寬容嘅教會，先能夠成為一個真正有恩典嘅地方。And only when the church becomes a place that shows God's grace, then we will truly discover and experience God's grace。第二個應用係乜嘢咧 ？The second point。我哋要好好嘅省察，自己有冇成日用斧頭去劈到人哋。We need to be careful and to reflect whether we use this axe to strike others。我哋要好好嘅睇下自己嘅斧頭係咪仍然喺手上面。Need to check whether you are holding an axe in your hand。我哋係咪成日都用斧頭去用言語用斧頭去劈人咧 ？You need to be careful and, and, and reflect whether you are hurting people with your words。因為好多時候喺羣體裏邊。總係有機會咧，讓呢啲斧頭飛咗出去嘅。Because as we as we relate to one another, there's a lot of plenty of chances that you might throw this axe at someone。咁我哋點樣可以小心咧 ？So how can we be more careful？ 就係要成日小心啊。So you have to be more careful。因為只要你有一個謹慎嘅態度嘅時候咧，先至會留意到自己嘅斧頭有冇劈咗出去。So as you become cautious, then you will realize that、um, your You realize and discover whether your axe is actually striking others. 正如我哋要啊第一把刀或者教點俾人嘅時候 ，and as it's just like the way that we hand over a knife to other people， 我哋會將嗰個刀鋒咧係向住自己或者向住地下噶。You will put the edge of the knife towards yourself or towards the ground。我哋會好小心咁遞俾人哋。And you'll be careful as you pass it to others。不斷嘅謹慎係非常之重要。Be cautious。It's very important. 愛人不可虛假。Love must be sincere. 凡事都唔可以去虧欠人哋。Uh, let no debt remain outstanding. 呢個係羅馬書十三章第八節所講嘅。And this is what、uh, in Romans 13 talks about. 我哋要常以為虧欠啊。We need to、uh, realize that we're continuing debt in debt to each other. 咩叫常以為虧欠咧？ How how does that work? How do we constantly be in debt to each other? 係咪好造假？明明冇虧欠都要話自己有虧欠。Isn't that a bit fake? Because you know we you're not in debt to to anyone. 常以為虧欠其實係一種好小心嘅態度啊。This is the an attitude of being cautious, being careful. 呢個係因為由於人與人之間嘅意外係難免，而我哋又冇乜辦法去察覺意外嘅發生。And so because um the accident between our relationship sometimes we just It's unavoidable, and sometimes、uh, we are hard to discover. So you need to continually reflect and consciously check whether you are hurting others. So you need to continually reflect and consciously think about whether you are hurting others. So you need to continually reflect and consciously think about whether you are hurting others. So you need to continually reflect and consciously think about whether you are hurting others. So you need to continually reflect and consciously think about whether you are hurting others. So you need to continually reflect and consciously think about whether you are hurting others. So you need to continually reflect and consciously think
甚至係一啲你唔肯定、唔知情嘅情況之下，當你懷疑自己可能得罪人嘅時候咧 ，even in in at times you're uncertain whether you have hurt anyone， 如果你唔肯定嘅話，你就不如假設你真係得罪咗人啦。Even if you're not sure if you have hurt anyone， just pretend that you have。嗱，呢個就係常以為虧欠嘅意思。This is what it means to be continually in debt to each other。就等於好似你爭咗人錢，你會覺得好唔舒服。It's just like you 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 know that you you owe someone money and you feel uncomfortable。呢個謹慎係好重要嘅。This is very important。因為唯有咁樣嘅謹慎態度，你咁樣警醒，先至較為容易唔會讓你個苦頭飛咗出去。Because when you have this attitude。Then it will be easier for you to realize and stop your acts from striking other people. Okay, three examples. Okay, thirdly, if you have indeed been struck by this action, then you will realize that you have been struck by this action. If you have indeed been struck by this action, then you will realize that you have been struck by this action. If you have indeed been struck by this action, then you will realize that you have been struck by this action. If you have indeed been struck by this action, then you will realize that you have been struck by this action. 求神俾你有智慧，誒、uh, ，ask God for wisdom， 讓你能夠面對呢啲嘅人。So that you will know how to face the ones who hurt you。如果你心靈強壯嘅話，你可以同呢個人講，你 hurt 咗我啦。Perhaps if you are strong in your heart, you might tell them, confront them, and say you hurt me。下次唔好啦。Don't do it like next time。如果你真係做唔做唔到，你冇呢個力量嘅時候。But if you don't have that strength， 你唔能夠饒恕。And you can't forgive. You're not sure how to face the person anymore. Let us think about this truth. 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 讓屠城成為你同佢之間一個嘅空間。Let him go inside this city of refuge so that it will create space for you and him。讓呢個屠城成為大家嘅緩衝嘅地帶。Let this place become the place to calm the calm you down。讓時間慢慢嘅去流逝。As and let time go by。即係等到大卒都要死，有神親自嚟到幫助我哋。And as the high priest dies, let God Come and help you. Let God help you. Okay, let's pray together. 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 Let's pray God, we know that we are all sinners, and at times we intentionally and unintentionally would hurt people. God, help us to be careful with our words. Be careful whether we have hurt anyone. Lord, we know that you are our refuge. You are a rock. You are our shelter. And we know we need your grace. We need your mercy. So we ask that you forgive us. You ask. We ask. That you renew us, we ask that we can become a community of grace, that we can love each other with sincerity. Lord, we ask that you build up our church, because this is not something that we can do by ourselves. Lord, we need your grace and your mercy. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Dada. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Mu, for giving us a sermon today. Church doesn't end when the service ends. Uh, as Pastor Eric said earlier, we'll be having a Zoom session afterwards. It's a chance for all of us to catch up, but it's also a chance for us to ask questions about God that we might have. So if you're free or if you do have questions, please jump on after this service ends. The details of uh, that Zoom meeting will be on the screen. Uh, we also have cell groups during the week where we gather up in small groups to study the Bible. So if you're interested in exploring the Bible further um, and you're not in a cell group, also talk to Pastor Eric. Um, and for the regular members of the church, uh, we encourage you to keep up with your regular offering. Details are on the screen. So I'll hand it over to the music team now for one last worship song. <laughs> 